Hey guys, welcome to D3D5. My name is Saurav and in this video we are going to talk about filaments using FDM printers. If you have not watched our previous video on the basics of 3D printing and the overview of FDM printer, I recommend you please go and watch that video first before continuing to this. You may have heard about the word filament in our previous videos like ABS, PLA, TPO. So now in this video we are going to discuss in details about these filaments. In basic term, filament is the raw material of the 3D printer. The filament is fed to the heated printhead and the printhead moves and gives a definite shape. In scientific or technical term, it is a thermoplastic or thermosoftening plastic. It is a plastic material that becomes pliable and moldable at a certain elevated temperature and solidifies upon cooling. There is an abundance of 3D printer filament choices available to you. There are many types of filament commonly used like PLA, PEPG, ABS and many more as told earlier. There are many types of filament available with different properties requiring different temperature to print. The filament is available in two standard diameters 1.75 mm and 2.85 mm or 3 mm. There are some aesthetically or good looking filament which are used to print some beautiful designs or showcases like shiny, matte finish, sparkling and rainbow colors filament. There are even special blends which can conduct electricity or glow in dark. With so much of variety on offer, it's easier to even create functional, beautiful and high performing prints in a variety of exciting materials. With this in mind, we present our guide to 3 printer filaments. Split over 3 sections, there are more than 35 types of the filament. According to the manufacturer of the filament, there are cones of types of the filaments. Manufacturer like MetaHacker. They have their own types of filament in PA. They are High Impact PLA, Pro Series PLA, Pro Series Stock PLA and many more. If we explain these very filament in details, this will be a long video. So that we have split this video into three categories, Common Used, Recreational and Professional. Going on with the first category that is Common Used. This category introduces the most commonly used types of 3D printer filament in desktop printing. Popular for their ease of use and physical properties. PLA In the realm of the home 3D printing, polyelectric acid. PLA is easily the most popular 3D printer filament and for good reasons. PLA has a low printing temperature than ABS. Finally, as a biodegradable thermoplastic, PLA is more environmentally friendly than most types of the 3D printer filament, being made from annually renewable resources such as starch or sugarcane. When should we use PLA? In common prints including models, low-wear toys, prototype parts and containers. So when we should not use PLA? Well, PLA is brittle, so avoid using it when making items that might be bent, twisted, or dropped repeatedly, such as phone cases, highway toys, or tool handles. It is high strength with low flexibility, and its durability is medium. Going to the next filament in the common category is ABS. ABS is acrylic nitrile butadiene styrene, most popular 3D printer filament after PLA. ABS is actually moderately superior to PLA, despite being slightly more difficult to print with. So when should we use ABS? ABS is tough. It is able to withstand high stress and temperature. It is also moderately flexible. The examples include phone cases, highway toys, tool handles, automotive trim components, and electrical enclosures. It is high strength with medium flexibility and high durability. The third filament we are going to discuss in common category is PETG. PETG is polyethylene tetraphthalate. It is the most commonly used plastic in the world. The word G in PETG stands for glycol modified. And the result is a filament which is clearer, less brittle, and most importantly, easier to use than its base form. Well known as the polymer used in water bottles, it is also found in clothing fibers and food containers. For this reason, PETG is often considered as a good middle ground between ABS and PLA. When should we use PETG? Well, PETG is a good all rounder but stands out from the many other types of 3D printer filament due to its flexibility, strength, and temperature, and impact resistance. This makes it an ideal 3D printer filament to use for objects which might experience sustained or sudden stress like mechanical parts, printer parts, and protective components. It has high strength with medium flexibility and high durability. Moving on to the fourth filament in our common category is TPU or TP. As the name implies, thermoplastic polyurethane TP are essentially plastics with rubber-like qualities and making them extremely flexible and durable. As such, TP is commonly found in automotive parts, household appliances, and medical supplies. Thermoplastic polyurethane TPU is a particular variety of TP and is itself a popular 3D printer filament. Compared to the generic TP, TPU is slightly more rigid, making it easier to print. It is also a little more durable and can better retain its elasticity in the cold. When should we use this filament? When TP or TPU is used when the object needs to take a lot of wear. If a print design needs to bend, stretch, or compress, this is the right type of 3D printer filament for the job. Example prints might be including toys, phone cases, or variables like wristband. It is medium strength with very high flexibility and durability. 
The sixth filament is a common category is nylon. Nylon 3D filament. Aluminum has the most versatile features. When it comes to printing with filament nylon, it is as easy when you print with the ABS filament. Nylon printing produces really nice prints. Its finish is silky smooth. But you have to make sure that it is dry and has not absorbed moisture. Another thing to keep in mind is to select the best nylon 3D printer filament. Doing so will give the excellent layer addition so that your prints are perfect. The details will be produced well, especially for those with intricate designs. The strength of nylon 3D printed object material is excellent. You won't experience its snapping or being printed. Nylon 3D printed objects also have superb impact resistance. The next filament is polycarbonate PC. It is most commonly used for its three base features, that is, incredible toughness, resistance to heat, and optical clarity. This makes it perfect for use in DVDs, safety glasses, riot shields, and even bulletproof glasses. 3D printable variants will typically get you a temperature resistance of just over 110 degrees Celsius, yielding transparent IC prints. Part will come out fabulously strong, but printing PC can be quite a challenge. Polycarbonate, that is PC, its extreme heat resistance to heat calls for an equally extreme temperature. Printing in a controlled environment with a sufficient heat will give a better print. Also, this material generates strong fumes and odors. Print it enclosed or in a well ventilated area. The next category of filament is recreational. Well, the first filament in it is wood. Yes, people interested in printing objects that look and feel like wood, well, yes, you can. Well, it's not really wood. Of course, that wouldn't make a very good 3D printer filament. Well, it is PLA infused with wood fiber. The next filament in recreational is metal. If you are looking for a different type of aesthetic in a print, something like a little bulkier and shinier, then for that you can use a metal. Like wood 3D printer filament, the metal filament isn't really a metal. It is actually a mix of metal powder with either PLA or ABS. Metals like bronze, brass, copper, aluminium, and stainless steel are just a few of the varieties of metal 3D printer filament, which are commercially available. The next filament in the recreational category is the glow in dark filament. Leave your print in the light for a while, then flip the switch and behold that eerie green glow. There are also many more like clay, ceramic, color changing, conductive, magnetic, and many more. Our next category of filament is professional. Well, why these filaments are called professional? Because compared to those already discussed, romantic types of 3D printer filaments are less commonly seen in desktop 3D printing and is more popular among extreme hobbies and more frequently happening in industrial or commercial scenarios. The first filament is carbon fiber. When the common types of 3D printer filaments like PLA, ABS, PETG, and nylon are reinforced with carbon fiber, the result is an extremely stiff and rigid material with relatively little weight. Such compounds shine in structural applications that must withstand a wide variety of end use environments. The next filament is PC ABS, that is, polycarbonate ABS alloy. It is a tough thermoplastic combining the strength and heat resistance of polycarbonate with the flexibility of ABS. It is commonly found in automotive, electronics, and telecommunication applications. It is one of the most widely used industrial thermoplastics in the world. The third filament in the professional category is HIPS. In the commercial world, high impact polystyrene, a co polymer that combines the hardness of a polystyrene and the elasticity of a rubber. It is commonly found in protective packaging and containers like CD cases. In the world of 3D printing, HIPS typically plays a different role. 3D printers can't print onto a thin hair. Overhang requires some of an underlying structure, and this is where it really shines. When paired with ABS in a dual extrusion printer, HIPS is an excellent support material. There are also many more professional types of filaments like PVA, ASA, PP, and many more, which we will be learning in the future videos. I hope you guys have known the basic three categories of filaments which we have explained. In the future, we will learn in detail of each of these categories and the filament in detail, like what is the temperature required for the extruder and the bed, the stress analysis, food safety, and many more. Also, I hope you guys have got a little understanding of what filament is. By watching this video, I hope you guys have got a little understanding of what a filament is. Also, like, share, and subscribe to know all about 3D printing. If you want an object or design to be 3D printed, then there is a link in the description down below. You can go and check it out. Thank you for watching.